980 euros. Credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow, I may buy myself a dining room set or this Boba Fett. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. So what do you think we should do next? I think we should check out gyms in the area to see if we can find traces of r 4 Right. I'll go check out the gyms closest to his address. I'll check out some gyms after I've spoken to some more neighbors. Maybe they will know more about him. Yeah, sounds good. Meet back here in an hour? Yeah, sound bro. Hello, is there anyone here? Is there something you want? Yes, actually. What do you know about your neighbor after C? Depends who's asking. I'm asking. I'm a lawyer and I need information for a case. Well, if it's information you need, you've come to the right guy, but it's gonna cost you. I need this information for a legal case. Can you just give it to me? I'll give it to you all right, for 100 euros. 50. 75. 65. Deal. So who is Afosi? He's my neighbor across the hall. He's usually quite reserved and doesn't talk to people much. He spends a lot of time on the internet and he goes to the gym a lot. He's actually quite shady if I'm being honest. He goes out late at night, but I haven't seen him this past month. When was the last time you saw him? Four to five weeks ago. Thank you for your time. Now give me my 65 euros. This is an emergency. Please report to the breaking room. This is an emergency. Please report to the breaking room. This is an emergency. Please report to the breaking room. This is an emergency. Please report to the breaking room. Gerald, Matt, Chunky, Phil, S1 Mino, you are my five most trusted. Now I trust you with this. I fucked up bad yesterday, really bad, and I now believe there are suspicions regarding our 4C. Didn't you deal with him like you said you would? Yes, I got rid of him, but I fear I didn't get rid of him well enough. You see, I got cocky, because Elaine is only 17, and I think I have severely underestimated him. His lawyer Foxy is also incredibly smart, and I fear that they could find out the truth if they dig deep enough. I bought the prison, so I can monitor things going on there. Feel how long till that gets completed. I managed to speed everything up so it should all be completed by the late afternoon. Good work. I will need all visitation and phone records since I was last there. This will confirm whether or not they are on to me. S1 Mino. I will need you to go to our 4C's address and talk to the neighbors to see if a trans lawyer has visited them. Chunky, I will need you to talk to Foxy to see if anything is up. And Matt, you will need to go to the hospital to find out if anyone has gone there regarding our 4C. I will go to the prison and finalize the deal and speak with the warden. These guys are going down. Detective Comley is on the case. What the fuck do you want? Yo, man, I'm looking for someone. Well, it seems you found someone. Run along now, little one. No, wait. I'm looking for someone called a for C. Do you know him? Well, shit. I think I do know that guy. Can you please tell me what you know? It would be really helpful. Well, it depends who's asking. You don't seem like his friend. You aren't another one of those phone guys, are you? What do you mean, phone guys? A few weeks ago, there were these phone guys asking about him. I can't remember who they were, though, but I'm pretty sure they worked for that Vodafone company. Oh, okay. So how long ago did you last see Afa C? Four to five weeks ago, maybe. What else do you know about Afa C? Well, he's usually quiet and keeps to himself. And he can look a little creepy sometimes. He once got into a fight with someone else here at the gym, but he's in prison now. Prison? He might know Arlen. So who is this guy he had a fight with? This guy called Rostic Bazzario. He got sent to prison for pedophilia. Rostic and r for c always had it out for each other. Thanks for the information, man. Hi there, how can I help you? I need some information. Has anyone come here regarding R4C lately? As a matter of fact, there was someone here just yesterday. Who's asking? 
This shit comes from up top if you know what I mean, so I'm gonna need all the information you have. Well, a guy came here yesterday. He was pretty young, and he was wearing a cap, and I believe his name was Cucumber, if I remember correctly. What did he ask you? He asked for the birth records of R4C, and I gave them to him, and then a nurse told me they were fake. You're welcome, dipshit. Some people are so ungrateful these days, where have people's respect gone? Cucumber, where the fuck are you? We're on the clock here. Hello, folksy. Long time no see. Chunky, what the hell are you doing here? How did you find me? I found you through research and communication with other associates. We were able to piece together that you and Cucumber are working together, so I stopped by the bar. Lo and behold, you have proven our theory just by being here. Me being here means nothing. This is a public bar and everyone is allowed here. I'll have you know I only came here to buy a drink, and that is all. I've never met this Cucumber guy before. When I went against you in court I knew you were smart, but teaming up with a street junkie wasn't a smart play. I'll reiterate what I said earlier, I do not know this cucumber guy and, if I did I certainly wouldn't work with him. Whatever you say folksy, whatever you say, just know that you won't beat us no matter how many people you drag along with you. It was nice catching up chunky but I really must be going, I have cases to work on. Like the Elaine case, I heard he still ended up in prison that fucking pedophile. So you're telling me that Folksy came here asking about our first C? You yes sir, that's correct. And you told him everything? You yes sir, sorry sir. Did you forget about our deal? Look man, I'm really sorry, he had money and I needed some. Money for what? Weed? Cocaine? A whore? What the fuck were you thinking? You stupid fuck. No please don't hurt me, I have a wife and kids. You don't have a wife and kids? And it's not gonna be me you're going to be worrying about. Rest in piss, faggot. Greetings calmly. I am Deco the Warden of Redwood Prison, and this is my CO, A. Hayden. I'm honored that you're my new boss, and I will make sure to impress. You can fuck off with the pleasantries, Warden. My last visit here was atrocious. Your fucking guard wouldn't let me in, and I'm having him fired. I'm sorry you had to go through that calmly, but I will ensure that it doesn't happen again. I want access to all your records immediately. All of them? Are you sure? Let me get one thing straight with you. I own you. Your life now belongs to me. Whatever shit you got away with before isn't gonna happen with me. If you step out of line, don't think I won't hesitate to punish you, that clear? You yes, calmly. That is sir calmly to you. Now get me those records, and I want any new visitations or phone calls made to Elaine W. Folksy, sorry, I got held up. I saw a fine lass at the gym. Folksy, you here? I guess I'll go tell Elaine then, since you abandoned me. Hi, can I go visit Elaine? What do you mean? Visiting is closed due to staff issues. A new manager? You are taking the piss. Okay, so when can I visit then? You're gonna put me on a waiting list? Well, that's great. Thanks a lot. Bloody waste of time. Oh my. It's you from the hospital. It's me, S1 Mino. You know, the La Haine guy. How could I forget? So did you get round to watching La Haine yet? Nah, I've been sorta of busy recently. Too bad. So, what you been doing? Trying to uncover the biggest plot ever seen, while also trying to save my friend who's kind of been in prison the last month. I've just been running some errands, you know, doing my mum's shopping, going to the post office. Oh, yeah, that's all great. Do your errands involve going to the hospital to get our foresees records and going to our foresees gym? Shit, he's got me. Quick, say something, dumb cucumber. What's a gym? Not that dumb. This is some advice, Cucumber. Stay away from all of this, and you won't get hurt. What would you know, man? You're just one of Comley's dogs. I flipped that question on you. What would you know about anything that is going on here? What would you know about Comley? About me? I'll tell you this. I may not know much about what is going on here and what is to come, but I damn well know that what you are doing is wrong. You're the reason cops have a bad name. For the record, I did warn you, so if you bite the curb, 
lose a finger, or get run over by an 18-wheeler semi-truck, then that's on you. I can live with that. Now get the fuck out my bar, you stupid cunt. You're the stupid one. This fucking guy, man. <coughs> Hello. Meet me at the place it all started. So did you guys hear that the prison has a new manager? Yeah, I heard that he bought the prison just today. This is good for the prison. Hopefully we can get some better food for once. I still don't get how Don Paolo likes that shit. I know man, he literally eats anything. I heard he once ate can tuna which was two years out of date. I hope they hire some better officers. That CEO Hayden is useless and he's a stuck up prick. I don't think he's that bad. Yes he fucking is. He let me get raped on numerous occasions. Well he's good to me. Elaine can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Pete you might want to go check if anybody's listening. Have you ever thought of breaking out? No, why would I do that my sentence is only 5 years with parole at 2 years and I might be getting out even sooner. The legal system tends to fuck with people like us, you might be in here a long time. There were flaws with the conditions surrounding my case and I might be getting out soon, there is no point in breaking out. Suit yourself man, so what's up with your case? Me and my lawyer believe that a key person in my case lied about who they said they were and if we can prove this I will get out of here. I hate people that lie man, my local corner shop said that a Lucas aid was 1 euro 19 cents but when I went to pay for it, it was 2 euros 59 cents. That sucks. We should go shower. These showers are so good I'm telling ya. They are pretty good. I could spend all day in here if I wanted. Yeah man. So you guys seen that Kendrick diss Drake? Yeah man it was fucking crazy. His career ended after that. I think we should come out now guys. We've been here three hours. You to go on ahead I wanna stay here a bit longer. Hello again Pete. Long time no see.